Hi Knitting Friends, Shayna Billow here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to work the cable cast on purl wise. I'm going to begin by putting a slip knot onto my needle. And then I'm going to work one knit cast on off of it. So to work a knit cast on, I'm going into the stitch that's on the left hand needle, wrapping the yarn to knit, coming on out, and then bringing this left hand needle down and into the stitch, down beneath the new stitch and putting it on the needle. I did not take the slip knot off, so now I have two stitches on my left hand needle. And this is how the cable cast on works. When you work it knitwise, you insert your needle between the two stitches from front to back. Since we're working purlwise here, I'm going to insert my right hand needle between these two stitches from back to front. I then take my yarn from the front, wrap it around my right hand needle as though I'm purling, and then bring that new stitch towards the back of the work. So I have a new stitch here on the right hand needle. I have not removed anything from the left hand needle and I'm going to swing my left hand needle down to capture the new stitch onto it. And I repeat. So I'm going to take my right hand needle and put it from back to front between the top two stitches on the left hand needle. I wrap my yarn as though I'm purling, bring that new stitch to the back and out. And then without taking anything off of the left hand needle, I swing my left hand needle down, come up the stitch, and repeat. So my right hand needle comes behind, I purl the new stitch on, and swing the needle up. So this is a very specific cast on. You might use it when you are casting on on the wrong side for a sweater that's worked in the round. Um, that would be one of the occasions where you would use it. Because what it does is it puts this little ridge, puts this little cast on ridge forward, the pearl bumps, and then on the other side you get a beautiful braided edge, smooth looking braided edge. So depending on what kind of edge you'd like to pick up on or have showing on the front of your work, this might come in handy. So you continue in this method, putting the new stitches onto the left hand needle until you have the number of stitches you need. I'm going to demonstrate in continental style as well. I come with my yarn in the front of the work. I go underneath the first stitch, wrap the yarn for purl. Whoop and come to the back and then swing that stitch onto the left hand needle. So I come into the stitch, wrap the yarn for purl, come through, and then slide that on. So the key here is just making sure that your right hand needle is coming from the back to the front between the first two stitches that are on the left hand needle. And then you wrap like a purl and bring the stitch through once you have the new stitch on the right hand needle, the left needle comes through and up, and there you have it. Happy knitting!